What do you do when your horse is bugged or hypersensitive to bugs? This is such a common question that I get. And this is the time of year where it's beautiful and we get to be outside and we're excited. And all of a sudden we come out to the trails and our horses are throwing their heads and they're uncomfortable because of bugs. So what do you do about this? Let's, let's talk about that. So I'm on a thoroughbred that's got quite a bit of life. He raced a long time. So he's got some brace in there. And, uh, and so the bugs, it's one of those things where, you know, you can tell it bothers him. He's sensitive. So let's talk about this. When he is bothered by bugs, his life is going to come up. And that's why he's throwing his head. Let's embrace that and say, you know, if your life is up, let's go for a little trot. Now, I don't want to go running back to the barn yet. But what I might do is say, you know, you're bothered by those bugs. So let's move. And that's going to do two things. It's going to take that energy that he has, that, that uh, sort of life that he has. It's going to put him to work, direct it into something like movement. There's another feature, and that is we will be moving, air will be flowing, and the bugs won't be as bad at the trot. Now, I'm pretty bold, so I can take a horse, and if they're bothered by, by bugs, I can canter or gallop, and then I really don't have an issue of bugs. But for me, most of you, just even trotting is enough to get a little airflow and get your horse to where he's not being bothered as much. So as we go, we're just using obstacles. I want him to think about his feet not about bugs on his side or bugs on his head. I want him to think about his feet. Take that energy and that life, put it into looking at where my dog is here or where your feet are, what's in front of you. Go through some brush because that's gonna rub the bugs off of them and move them for some time, maybe a few minutes depending on your situation. I might reach up, uh, grab some branches. I might even reach over and help get the bugs off of him and make him understand that I'm a good guy because I'll help him here. You've got some bugs on your neck, I'll help you. You've got some bugs on your rump, I'll help you. Take the whip, use it as a fly shoe as you're moving. Pretty soon, he will become more comfortable. So back to work. So what I want is movement because he's irritated and he's not comfortable standing still or walking slow. Now, I want you to think about something. You decide to go trail riding with your friends and they're all on slower, calm horses and you're on this hot thoroughbred that's more sensitive. And you wanna walk down the trail with the group, it might not work for you. You might need to adjust to fit that situation. You may need to take your horse out by yourself and work in this manner so now he's moved quite a bit and I'm walking. In fact, it's kind of interesting. I'm able to take him through branches and he sees a reason. He says, yeah, I'll go through those branches, rub those bugs off. A little more reason to go through that. He's more comfortable because I did move for a few minutes. So now could I bring the walk down slower? Now, if he starts to get bothered with bugs and he starts to flip his head or swish his tail, I won't get too greedy. I don't want to force the walk. I'll chase my dog here for a second. In fact, use my dog's little energy to get my horse's energy up. There, look at that. That's awesome. So my horse is really looking at my dog, which you can't see. Buster thinks it's fun. We're not as bothered with the bugs. It's fun again. Movement. I want you to go under things so the branches going under this is a tough one for me going under the branches going through the narrow passageway so we go around under all helping to get bugs away we'll find a through go through the brush right and so pretty soon, my horse looks to me, he f thinks about his feet. His attention's not so much on, on the bugs. And I can then say, let's take it easy, let's slow down a little bit. And maybe even we'll get to a place where we can stop. Now don't get greedy, because if you stop too long, he's gonna get antsy, he's gonna throw his head, he's gonna swish his tail, he's gonna get bothered, his life will come up, and he'll wanna move. But if we think about this, we can take this sort of irritation, right? And we can use it to get our horses lively, 
direct it into what we want, work, and use that as a lesson to work with our horses. I hope that makes sense about what to do when your horse is bothered by bugs. I hope this, these are some techniques that you can use. Take, take this and go ahead and give it some time, practice with it, see what you can do. Maybe keep your horses on the move a little more. Before you know it, they're gonna settle in and they're gonna be able to handle these bugs a lot better.